Hi, welcome to my Jaws video three. This is the third video in my Jaws series. My name is Melissa Powell and I'm an access technology trainer. Today I'm going to be talking about the Windows navigation commands as well as the Jaws reading commands. Before we talk about these commands, I would like to tell you how to open a Word document so that if you decide that you want to go ahead and jot these commands down, you can go ahead and do that. What I'd like you to do is press your Windows key, and that is the second key to the left of your spacebar. It has a circle on it. You can probably fill it with your finger. Press that key, and this places you in the instant search of Windows. The instant search of Windows is wonderful. You can search for programs, files, pretty much anything on your computer using the instant search of Windows. And what I would like you to do today is type in WordPad, that's W-O-R-D-P-A-D, and press enter and you will open a WordPad document. It's that simple and that easy to open a document using the instant search of Windows. And while I'm talking about the instant search of Windows, you can access it any time when you're using Windows. It's available in any Windows program and you access it by pressing Control E. Type in what you want to search for. A list of search results will be displayed. You use your up and down arrows to navigate through the search results. And you, to close the instant search field, you just press Escape. And when the first time you press Escape, you will be returned to your uh, list view of results. The second time you press escape it will clear the instant search field and close it out. So after you have a WordPad document open uh, let me give you the list of these commands and I'll try to go over them slowly enough that you can go ahead and, and type them in if you would like to do so. and that way you'll have them for future reference. The Windows navigation commands are really nice. They allow you to navigate through text with Windows and the nice thing about these Windows navigation commands is that you can use them in any screen reader. These are not job specific commands. So if you're using System Access, Window Eyes, Zoom Text, Magic Dolphin, any screen reading program that's out there, you can use these commands and they will work because they are standard to the Windows operating system. Here we go with the commands. You can move to the next character by pressing right arrow. You can move to the previous character by pressing left arrow. You can move to the next word by pressing control right arrow. You can move to the previous word by pressing control left arrow. Move to the next paragraph by pressing control down arrow. You can move to the previous paragraph by pressing control up arrow. Move to the beginning of a line by pressing home. Move to the end of the line by pressing end. Move to the next screen by pressing page down. You can move to the previous screen by pressing page up. To move to the next page, press control page down. To move to the previous page, press control page up. To move to the beginning of a document, press control home. To move to the end of a document, press control end. 
Now these commands work really well in Windows to navigate through the next and previous information like the next paragraph, the next line, the next page, the next screen, the next word, the next character. And these will work in, you know, any text document, word documents, even on the internet if you're navigating through text on a web page, you can use these commands. Now, when you want when we want to read current information, this is where we rely on our screen reader in this case these are JAWS specific commands that I'm going to give you that allow you to access current information using your screen reader and it's really helpful to be able to access current information if you want to know where you're at if you want to know the information that is located right around your cursor here's how you access that information you can read the current letter by pressing the numpad 5 key you can enable phonetic letter mode by pressing numpad 5 twice quickly and what this will do is it'll say the letters phonetically like B for beta, C for cat, D for dog and it'll say that and it'll kinda say the, the letters with words the way they would sound and you to to uh, disable phonetic letter mode, you press numpad 5 one time and that'll turn that setting off. You can read the current word by pressing JAWS key numpad 5. The JAWS key is the insert key or your numpad 0 key on your numeric keypad. Read the current line with JAWS key numpad 8 and again the JAWS key is the insert key on your numeric numpad. Read the current sentence by pressing ALT numpad 5. Read the prior sentence by pressing ALT numpad 8. Read the next sentence by ALT numpad 2. Read current paragraph control numpad 5. Read to the beginning of line to your cursor location by pressing JAWS key numpad 7. Read from your cursor location to the end of the line by pressing JAWS key numpad 9. And say all is JAWS key numpad 2. And what this say all does is it'll start reading from your cursor location to the end of the document. And it'll just keep reading. And if you want to stop the speech and stop the reading, uh, just press the control key and that'll stop the reading. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can contact me. My email address is mel, M-E-L, at U-B-T-A-N-E-T, period, C-O-M. I would love to hear from you. I can provide training in a variety of applications, including Windows 7, JAWS, System Access, Windows Eyes, and all the Microsoft Office products like PowerPoint, yes, blind people and visually impaired people can access PowerPoint. It is not a totally visual program despite what you may have been told. Outlook, Microsoft Word, Excel, uh, Internet Explorer, oh gosh, there's a lot of programs that I can provide training in and I would love to do so and love to help you. So, and I will discuss the instant search more as in another video. That was just a a little brief uh, introduction of it so that you could open a Word document and type your those commands. And let me tell you how to save that Word document just so just in case you don't know how to do that. What you need to do is
what you need to do let me get there okay you need to open the backstage with alt f and then you need to arrow down to the save option and press enter and this opens up the save as dialog and this is an edit combo field and that means that there's information in the field that you can access by pressing your arrow keys but the name of the file is selected so you can just overwrite what they haven't named and you can name it let's see reading and navigation commands and then here's where you choose the type of document that you want to save it as and this is a combo box and you use your up and down arrows and I'm just going to leave it at RTF which is a rich, rich text document but if you want to choose another option in this combo box you can just use your up and down arrows and select one then you have a hide folders button you don't need to worry about that right now and you can tab until you locate the tree view and in the tree view you will have a number of locations that you can save this file in and you can use your up and down arrows to navigate through the options in the tree view and when you want to when you find the location where you want to save your document go ahead and press you can um, open your open the doc open the location by pressing your right arrow so like mine said on documents and so it'll automatically save there but if there's a folder inside my documents folder that I want to save in I can open that folder my documents folder and I have my documents public documents and I can open any of these folders with my right arrow key and then I can shift tab back to the save button and activate it with spacebar and that will save your document like I said mine is set on default so all I do is make sure that it's set on documents I tab to that tree view make sure it's set on documents and then I just shift tab back to the save button and save it if you want to save it onto a like a flash drive or something like that you would navigate through the tree view until you find your computer option and you navigate with your up and down arrows and you press your right arrow and then you would have your drives listed like removable disk F for example could be your thumb drive and when you located that you would go ahead and press enter to open that and then you would just shift tab back to your save button and hit save I hope that made sense if it doesn't I can clarify just let me know thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I hope that you learn these draws reading commands and these windows navigation commands they will really help you when it comes to navigating and accessing text so I hope you have a great day thanks bye